It's always an exciting time when a ship comes back after a long time away. This ship's company was generated back all the way back in January, so they went into pre-embarkation quarantine, uh, then sailed in February, and they've been away with just one real chance to get ashore in New Zealand. So we're pretty excited to see them back. And they were incredibly successful on the, the missions they had. They set new records for drug seizures during their deployment in support of our partners. And they've been across uh, most of Indo-Pacific uh, in support of Operation Protection.
the home soil again. It feels great. I'd like to thank you for uh, coming to meet us. HMCS Calgary has been deployed uh, for over seven months on operations Artemis and projection. Uh, the highlight of our deployment was our uh, counter narcotics operation where we broke two international records, one for the, uh, the most heroin seized in a single interdiction and another for the most contraband seized by a single ship in, the, in a rotation of this deployment. It's been a challenging deployment with uh, the pandemic, but it just demonstrates the resiliency and the dedication that the, uh, the crew had. But despite the fact that they weren't able to leave the ship very often, only twice in seven months, they were actually able to get off the ship. They were still able to uh, perform at such a high level. And so I think everybody's happy to be home. Uh, we're, it's, it's been a long go, it's been rewarding. Uh, but now it's time to reunite with our families and uh, reunite with our communities. Uh, these seem like a relatively active engagement. What is it like being aboard a ship when, when you're this active? It's good because it makes the time go by fast. So that's what was great about our counter narcotics operations is we were, we were doing so many of them uh, that the crew really got into it and it just makes the time fly by. Uh, what does it mean to you to see your crew back in the arms of their loved ones? Oh, it's and amazing. It's uh, we, We've been waiting for this day for so long and it just, the fact that we were able to maintain a COVID-free bubble for seven months and everybody was able to get off the ship and rejoin their families is, uh, is great. Uh, Commander, uh, can you please share uh, any highlights that you can recollect from some of the multinational exercises that you might have done on the, on the deployment. Absolutely, yeah. We uh, participated in multiple uh, cooperative deployments uh, with different nations. So our, we participated in Exercise Talisman Sabre uh, with uh, the U.S. Navy, the Australian Navy, the Japanese Defense Force, and the, uh, the Korean Navy. And uh, that was great working with our allies in the region. We also did several cooperative deployments with other, other nations like India, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, Brunei and so on so it was uh, it was great to have the interoperability and the uh, the chance to work with other countries awesome and how did the ship hold up uh, in terms of you know just being able to deploy uh, as a standalone unit uh, very well uh, again it demonstrates the resiliency of uh, the technicians and the logisticians on board the ship that kept them running uh, sometimes we didn't have parts exactly when we needed them so a lot of talented people could uh, actually make parts. Uh, in one case, to actually made it from scratch because we weren't able to get it and keep the mission going. Uh, meanwhile, everybody ashore was working hard to get us what resources we needed so that we could carry on with the mission. Awesome. And with regards to COVID, um, you had you mentioned that you had two shore, shore visits uh, over seven months. Yep. How was it to, uh, how, did, how did the crew remain um, uh, how did the crew morale kind of sustain itself over over all those months on, on board? So the big thing is the, the crew bought into the deployment and the fact that we were able to uh, partake in the counter narcotics operations in, uh, during Operation Artemis along with all the cooperative deployments that we did during projection gave them a reason to want to to want do this and we did different things internally so we had an amazing uh, padre that deployed with us, a chaplain that was able to reach out to a lot of people on board the ship. Uh, and we, we paid close attention to people to make sure they were okay. We came up with different mechanisms so that different groups of people could celebrate and hang out together on board the way they normally would in a foreign port. Uh, and just did everything that we could to, to facilitate that. And again, it's a demonstration of their resilience and their dedication. Oh, thank you. You're thank welcome. you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Welcome yeah. home. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks, man. Thanks. 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 Oh, my daddy. <laughs> <laughs>